Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whichever it is. These are some colors I'm going to be using today. I'm going to see if anybody comes on live today. If they do, then I'll let them help me pick. If not, I'm going to pick myself. And these are set up so they can kind of entrap the area so that it's not painted on, so I can put the glow paint in the middle. See if that helps. Okay. I am going to start with putting some white in the cup. Even though it seems like I'll pour a lot in there, um, it's really not going to be a lot. Because I will not waste any of the paint. Okay, so I'm going to put some white on the bottom. That's just to start with. And instead of um, instead of mixing this oil in, I'm gonna layer a little bit in between the paint, just a little bit, just to see how that looks. So again, I'm starting with the white, and then I'm gonna add some of these colors into the mix. So I'm just gonna put. I put some white. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this oil in here, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna layer some colors. Hi there, Nicole. Which purple should I use? I have what have I got? Watercolor. I've never used that one. I don't know about the watercolor. It's kind of thick. I got the lavender color shift. I'm thinking about this color, shift color, so I'm going to use this one, a little bit of this violet flash. And I kind of put white down there and then I put a little bit of this rock and sleek oil. It's just not mixing it, just kind of layering it to see what it will do because I wanted to do something different tonight, so this should work. Okay, so I put some of that purple. I'm going to do a pink. Let's see what pink should I do. Which one? Which one? I'm thinking about this dark pink. What do you think? Um, let's see. Let's go with this color. What is this? Metallic. Um... Line. I'm not sure how to say that right, but put a little bit of that in there. <coughs> Darn paints are so noisy. Okay, so we got some of that in there. I'm going to add a little bit more of the white on the top of that. Just a little bit. Let's see, should I put a green in there? What do you think? A green or another purple? I'm thinking I want to do this purple right here. This color shift one. Since I used the darker one, I was going to use this one also. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Just kind of just putting it around in the bottom there. I think I want another pink. I'm gonna go for some glitter. A little bit of glitter pink in there. See how that looks. Just put a squirt in there. And it's like going randomly here. Let's see. This color looks good. Pink flesh. Pour a little bit in there. I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the white to the top of that. And let's see. Hi there, Heather. Um, let's see. Should I add more colors to this or should I pour? What do you think? Let me show you how heavy this is. Got about that much color in there. I think I should add some more paint to it or just pour it. What do you guys think? 
put a little oil in there too just to see how that's going to go. I'm thinking it feels kind of heavy. It feels pretty heavy. I think I'm going to pour, but um, it's my little my little magic spaghetti sticks. These are so cool because I used to think I had to buy like stir sticks for stuff and you just use a spaghetti stick. It's a cool. It works really well. So I don't really mix it. I just kind of pull it through there. Hey there, Rusty Bell. Just kind of mix it around. And it feels heavy enough though. I usually use a Dixie cup, but got desperate. They had these cups at work for the, I guess for the, we used to have a water um, holder at work, but we don't anymore. So I was like, I'm taking these home. I'm going to pour with them. Okay. So let's see. I think I'll do this one. It looks bright enough here. I'm going to, I can't really squeeze the tip of this. So it's kind of hard to make a, so I'm just going to get a different look. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to just pour it on. Ooh, lovely. It got a little it got a little glitterific right here. You can see it kind of just got all in this one spot. But it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks right there. Looks pretty neat. Happy with that one. Was able to get stripes and I didn't even have to like rip, um, turn my wrist for it. It just came out that way. So this is the way the paint's coming out right now. So I still got a good amount in here to keep working with. So I think I'm gonna try to go from like just try to go from way up top and drop it and see what happens. Does it look magical? Because it looks magical. Okay. Yeah, I like the way that came down. It gave it a really cool look just because I was coming from up top. What do you think? Cool? Not cool? Looks pretty neat. Hey there, Myrna. What do you think? I like this. Pretty cool. And the only thing that was mixed into this was a little bit of that. So I just like that I made this one drop from way up top and it looked different. And then as it was flowing off of it, it almost looks like the watercolor or something. So cool effect, cool effect. Okay. This next one, um, let's see. Loves it. Didn't even have to make the angle for the stripes. But this one, I'm going to like the replay on that because that was really cool. Okay, so got a little bit more in there. I think I'm just going to pour this one. I'm going to try to make a circle motion, but I'm using a cup I don't really like because I can't, I can't squeeze the end of it to make a point. So I'm getting a different result, but it's still cool. I'm learning that the cup's, the cup's different. It gives a cool result. So I'm going to try to go from this middle... Pretty cool. And I picked colors that others had to pick for Mother's Day, purple, pink, green, and yellow. So I try to use each of those colors in the pour today. I did put some, the oil in there, so it didn't really look like I could see any cells in the prior ones, but on this one I see a lot of little things popping up on here. Still kind of, you can see if you watch it, it's still f slowly flowing down the side. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure I covered everything on this side. This side looks prettier than the other side. Really liking that. Looks really neat. Sorry, it's so dark. Let me see if I could turn another light on. Let's see. Oh, and this is the bag I get. 
this is the bag of beach pebbles I get and there's usually like 300 rocks in there so that's pretty neat okay I miss the back of these and sometimes that happens and um try to back these up a little bit so when that happens where I miss the back I always try to just grab a little bit of the pour kind of just place it against the rock because it'll be the same color and then same mixture and then catch those little spots. So same with this one, I'm gonna kinda of go underneath and then just try to press up against the rock there. On this side, do the same thing. Oops, sorry, I'm covering the phone. Same thing on that side. Okay, so those came out pretty neat. This overflow, guys, this overflow paint looks amazing. You know what that means? I'm going to do a transfer really quick. I'm just not going to do a bunch of these because I've done a bunch of them. But when a quote asked me a great question, do I prefer south for my pores? Mm, they're fun. They're fun to see them pop up for me, and I love seeing other people's. But for me, I'm really enjoying just the mixture of the, the paints and seeing them flow together and not adding too much to it. I just love the colors. How they flow together so that's my preference but it's not what i be um what i like to look at i mean i love love looking at other people's um pores with the cells all over them oh my god it's like amazing this one's pretty cool i like the way it looks okay okay back to this one i'm gonna do a transfer because this overflow is just like those of you that pour this is like my favorite part right here. So when you take pictures, take a picture with your overflow because I love looking at this part. Not that I don't like the rock, I love the rock, but this part sometimes is super amazing. So like this, like this side, dang it. If you could only see this side's overflow, it's like really awesome. Okay, so let me do a little bit over here. I'm gonna do this rock up front because it's really flat transfers are best with the with the flat rocks or it seems like you can move them over i'm getting more white because underneath was the white that was the one that first poured but that looks really cool that one just kind of fell over the edge And I did learn from previous um, pours that I was doing, other people were like, you should put a little bit of the overflow from this rock and that rock on the same one for the transfer. And that really does make the rock look really cool too. If you use different color pours on your transfers, it really, look, you get the really cool effect. This one's just a transfer, not a pour. But I have to be honest, like sometimes when I'm doing these, I think I'm, I love the transfers way more than the pours, but you know, it just depends what your preference is, but transfers sometimes end up being really cool. There's just so much to look at on there. This one made a cool, um, both of these did, but the way that it separated the paint, because the oil does that, I didn't really mix it that much on this one, I just kind of layered it in between. It has a cool look. I love the way how that separates the paint and looks really neat. It's kind of doing that in different spots. This one almost looks like a, there's a face in that one and the side view of something right there looks pretty cool. Okay, anybody that I didn't say hello to, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anybody. Let's see, okay, so I got up to that point. Um, hi to Kelly. Tanya, Joanne, just in case I didn't say hi to you guys. Trying to trying to keep track of that too below. Okay, which one's my favorite from so far? So far this one's my favorite. And even now that the paint's separating a bit in some spots over here, it still looks pretty cool just the way it, it looks on there. And oh my gosh, look at that overflow. Look at how pretty. Okay. Okay, let's continue on. 
um, I wanted to do a few of these glow rocks, but I was thinking that I'd put the water cap in the middle of these flat rocks because the glow rocks that I do kind of look cool on the flatter rocks, the design I'm doing. So I thought, well, maybe that'll hold that spot better. So we'll see how that goes when it give it a go. I have stuff left over in here, but I still need more paint. So I'm just going to add, I'm going to add to the cup. So I'm going to add a little bit of white in there. And let's see what else I got. Let's check it out. I'm trying to use some old paints. I used this color also earlier, but I'm trying to use them up. And that way it gets some more paints. Okay. Let's try to use the rest of that in there. And I've got this lavender right here. I'm going to try a little bit of that. I kind of try to pick the brands that I know that pour really well. And as much as I love the folk art color shift and different ones, it seems like the regular acrylic like this is a bit thick. I do not really enjoy that. So Joanne says it's cold, wet, and miserable in Melbourne, Australia. Darn it. It's in, it's in um, California right now. I think today it was like almost shoot it almost felt like it was like 85 degrees or something so it's gonna get hot this summer okay what kind of red white do i use oh this is the kind of white paint i use and it's what is it color is it? it's uh snow white the color i always find it has a good look with the with the um, rocks and stuff so that's my go-to on that cup feels pretty heavy but not heavy enough let's see i got some of this is this neon color fuchsia fuchsia let's try some fuchsia those two will go i got some pink glitter Put a little pink glitter in there and after the pink glitter i think i'll add some Yellow glitter. Martha Stewart's glitter is awesome. Hi there, Michelle. Michelle said she's just waking up in Scotland just for the day. That's awesome. It's almost midnight now. What time is it? It's 11.30 p.m. right now in California. So it's a little late. That's usually the time that I pour and do lives because um, that's when my three-year-old goes to sleep. Close to about 10 or 10.30. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some more white over the glitter and the pink. Just a little bit. It feels, it feels heavy. Okay, um, Let's do, I'm trying to see what the consistency of this watercolor Martha Stewart looks like. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit. If it's too thick, I don't wanna put it in the pour. Oh yeah, look at, look at how thick that is. Oh, uh-uh. I wanted to see what it looked like, but when I read that it said soft gel, I was like, I don't think that's gonna pour well. I can use it as a base or something, but definitely not pouring, so no. I'll show you how thick it looks, just so you know. So, nope, nope, not gonna pour with that. Don't like that. Nicole said that she's having bad luck with apple barrel white. Just as a note, don't use apple barrel white it will crack your rocks now if you want a cracked effect on it use apple barrel but if you don't do not use it i've never actually bought apple barrel white um it just seems to be like in a bunch of pouring groups that i am part of that's a big like do not use type of thing they're just like don't use that every other color is okay with apple barrel but not the white for some reason I think that company needs to work on their white because if they did, they'd probably get a lot more customers. So it's, that's not good. 
this feels this feels heavy enough. I'm gonna use my little handy dandy spaghetti stick. And I'm not really mixing, I'm just kind of gliding it through, just making sure the paint doesn't all stick with one color. So that looks really pretty. And what I want to do on these ones, because they're going to be glow rocks, is um, I'm going to go around the edges. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for me, but that's what I'm starting with. I'm just going to try to pour close to the lid since um, the lid's going to get lifted in a minute. We'll see how that goes. Trying to keep it together. I've never done this before, so it's my first time doing this with the lids on top. But the reason I was doing it, it was just to ensure that I'd have that good spot to put the glow paint in the middle. So, so if this comes out awesome, it's because of you guys too. Throw me some good vibes here. Okay. Okay, so it's going down the edges really cool. It looks so pretty, almost like Wow, lovely. Okay. Okay. This is going to be awesome here. Let's... I'm a little nervous. I was scared I was going to pop that lid right off the top, just pouring over it. But so far, so good. And guess what? I really charged my battery, so I won't have any problems with it going off. Okay, oops. Got a little paint on top. Move that. Oops. Don't move over. That was my bad on that one. Okay. So, I'm going to wait a minute just to make sure the paint falls on there before I pop the lid off and put the glow paint in the middle. So, we'll see what happens. Okay. I have enough paint, though, to pour this last rock right here. So, let's check it out. Gonna get crazy with it, okay? Just gonna go wacky. Pretty. The glitter looks really cool in there too. I like when the stripes appear and I don't have to make them. Like they just come out, so that's nice. Okay, these glow rocks are gonna look awesome sauce, but um but you guys want to do a couple more pours? Should I add some more to the cup? What do you think? Um, yeah, I'm excited to pull the top off. But I, the whole back, I need to wait like at least five more minutes just to ensure that when I lift it, that the, most of the paint has poured down. And it's okay if some of it you know, stays in the circle, just not all of it. And I got my glow paint ready to go too. Ready to pour it in the middle. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's do some more. I'm going to just, and I don't mix this in on these, I just, to these tonight, I just put, add a little to the cup. I'm not mixing it with anything, I'm not switching cups. Sometimes it's frustrating when I have to do a bunch of different mixes. I'm just like, I'm just gonna put it in there. So I put the oil in there this time. I'm going to add some of this purple flash. Okay, and these look amazing. I just thought of it tonight too. I was like, how am I gonna get that circle in the middle without trying to be extra, extra careful? What should I do? And then I saw the bottle cap and I was like, I'm gonna try that. And I always try to do my own different ideas because sometimes if I'm trying to copy people's things, get a mental block and then I can only really like focus on that and not on the creativity part so that's why I'm always doing I'm always doing some crazy stuff I try not to research things too much online because then I I'll feel like I'll never be able to make the same that they're doing so look it looks like an elephant in there a little bit I was like is that a trunk okay kind of Okay, let's see what other color let's do. You think I should add some greens in there and some yellows? What do you guys think? You guys tell me. Greens and yellows or more pinks and purples? 
Anybody? Anyone? What should I do? Okay. The only color that's calling my name right now is this emerald green. Not sure how it's going to look with these colors that I have so far. But I'm going for a little bit on there. And I'm going to add a little bit of pink glitter to the top of that. And another color. What other color should I do? I'm trying to see Phil, if it's heavy enough. I need to put some more white in there. I do like mixing white in between the layers because it stretches my colors out because I don't want it to be all the colors because then I waste, not that I waste, but I mean, I use a lot of metallic. So if I layer it, then I still get that effect, but I'm not using as much. Okay, which other color should I put in here? Let's add a little bit of this. I have more of this purple, so. Joanne said yellow and green. Okay, so I did put some yellow glitter in there. There is some yellow glitter, and there is green in there, too. So I put both of those in there. I'll put a little, a little bit more yellow glitter on top. Just to put a tiny bit on top. Then I'll get my stick. Get a little piece of stick. Look, this one's too tiny. Hold on here. Okay. And the green really has a cool effect to it. Like in that. I like in that. Okay. So let's start with this here. And then after these, I'm gonna pop the top of the other ones and then we'll we'll see what's gonna happen on those. Just gonna see where this falls. Ooh. It's crazy how like when you use a glitter paint, it's cool how it leaves like the certain ways it has its own little effect. And I like how this folds in. And then the green, that's so cool. And the green just has a line right there across. And it's not green glitter paint, but the way it looks on there, it looks like it's green glitter because the glitter went right over that. So it looks really neat. Cool. Okay. Got enough for another one over here. The inside of this cup looks pretty awesome. So on this one, I'm going to let it lay over the top because it's got some nice stripes in here. And that looks pretty cool, huh? I like the way how the paint come over on that. It's a couple little tiny cells coming through, but it has a really cool effect to it. I like the way that looks right there. It looks pretty neat. And especially this front part right here and this back. It looks really cool. Yeah, I really do like this green glitter line right here. Amazing. Looks like I actually like planned it. Didn't plan it. You guys are giving me good vibes here. This is our Mother's Day pour. So happy Mother's Day to me. I mean, these are awesome. Made myself some presents. Okay. Pretty cool. I like the way this one looks. Try to scroll up to see if I didn't miss anybody up here. Hi there, Leslie. I'm not sure if I said hello to you. And um, so there's this one back here. It looks pretty cool. I really like the green though. That looks really cool. I like that. Um, this one looks pretty neat. I like that one. That looks. This is a transfer. That one's pretty cool. Okay, guys. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna pop these tops off, see what happens. Put some, put some glow paint in there. I'm getting nervous. Okay, I still have enough to do one more rock, so the suspense needs to wait a little bit longer, so. I'm gonna pour this over.
looks kind of crazy because I mean, it looks darker and I can see on the uh, on the camera. But this little trail in here is actually green. It's actually green color. It looks black though, but it's a green. It looks kind of crazy. Okay. Let's see if I'm ready to put the to put the um do I have the glow paint? Hold on one second. I do have glow paint. I'm just gonna try to search for some extra glow paint if I have more. Do 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 okay. Too many colors in here. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I do have some glow paint here. I'm gonna use this glow paint. Okay. Okay, I'm about, hi there, yeah, oh, Tanya, thank you. Said she'd like my pores. Okay, so I'm gonna <clears throat> take the lid off of this, so like get ready. Okay, getting a little nervous here, okay. Doesn't matter, either way it's an experiment, so I'm gonna take the tops off. Now the reason why I did the tops like this was so when I put the glow paint on there, I'll have a nice circle. So, that was pretty awesome. It did what I thought it was gonna do. I thought if I waited a little bit, then most of the paint would come off the top. And now all I'm gonna do is try to fill it in with the glow paint. So we'll see how that goes. If I could do it evenly. dandy stick the sticks I'm just gonna use the glow paint and try to go to the edges okay so now that I have the glow paint in there, I'm trying to make just a little, actually I'm going to grab a little bit of paint from the overflow here. And because I, I need a little bit inside because it gives it a cool effect. So that's going to look pretty cool because it's just a little circle there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with these other two. And they look, the glow paint looks really cool when, um, when it glows. So before we finish up, I'm going to try to turn the lights out and see how it looks with the glow paint. So hold up here. I got to try to catch this little guy. Really all I'm doing is using just a spaghetti stick. Trying to hit the edges. I want it to be a little thick, but not too thick. I'm just trying to hit the edges so that it won't, I don't want it to flow over. It's what I won't, don't want it to do. I want it to stay there. Grab a little bit of the pink with my stick. Not too much. And then I'm going to swirl it in there. And it looks cool because it looks like a little jewel that glows. Okay, so that one looks pretty cool. On to the next. And I like this better than the other ones I've done because the circle... Well, the lid helps it make it look more circular, so it looks it looks pretty. And I don't need to use the little nozzle because I only need a little bit of paint, so I'm just gonna smooth it out. Do a star in the middle, Tanya said. Well, let's see. I don't know. I might be able to do that, but it's almost creating its own little effect on there already. Let's see. I'm losing my glow effect. Um, well, let's see what it looks like. <coughs> I'm going to close the light right now. And we'll see what the glow looks like. So this is before, and then after. 
Oh my. Okay, so whew, I can try. I could try for a heart in one of these. I just need to put some more glow paint over the top. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. No promises. No promises, guys. Next time, I'll just need to put do the heart first and plan for the heart and not the design. I'm trying to see which one is less thick so it won't flow over. I need to probably this one right here. Where's my stick? Okay. I'm trying to make it. I gotta go with the stick color. I'm trying to go even back over it so that I get just the white. And then I can do the heart after. Okay. Okay, guys, let's try for the heart. So I got a thick piece of paint. Go away, thick piece of paint. I'm trying to do a heart here. Mother's Day heart. Okay. I hope my mom watches this too. So they like to say happy Mother's Day, Mom. Okay. Cute. Okay. You guys had me go for the heart. There you go. Let's see the heart glow. You guys want to see the heart glow? I'm a little nervous. It's getting a little uneven here. But you know what? That's okay. Do you know why? Because it doesn't need to be perfect to be awesome. Okay. Let me turn the light off. Okay, ready. Let's check it. Oh, yeah. You guys made me do that. You guys rock. I wasn't even going to work on a design. So now you know how to do... You guys know how to do that. You guys can make some cool designs and silhouettes and, like, whatever. But you know what I mean? You could do it, too. Okay, it loses its glow pretty quickly. Like, let me turn the light on real quick. And I'm gonna turn that off, but it gets to glow back really fast. But okay, all right, cool stuff, cool stuff. Thank you guys. Shoot, I have to be honest. Uh, wow, this one changed its color really fast. Looked different just a little while ago. All right, that one looks cool. I'm gonna kind of wrap it up, show what I got over here, wrap it up, and. Most of this paint I'm going to stick back in the cup for later for another pour, so. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, I just used plastic lids on that. The better you can do around it, the less paint you have to put on the actual lid, so. Because the lids look pretty cool. I was like, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Happy with these glow rocks. They're going to look so cool. All right, and then these ones look really neat. And thank you everybody who gave me some good input and just tuning in, it's great stuff too. I was worried that when it was drawing that it wasn't gonna keep this green line here, but it still is, so it should stay through the process. This one I really like. And this stripe came out really cool. I think this was the first one that came out was a striped one. Okay, anybody watching today or later, please know that I would love to see you guys pour. I like sharing my lives, but I would love to see your guys's when you guys feel up to it, to sharing. Myrna, hint, hint. Oh, just in case you want to show it off, you know do that I'd love to see it I mean I enjoy seeing your guys's after products when you guys post them but it's fun seeing everybody's different processes especially like um, I didn't do anything simple I just put everything in the cup you know just knowing how people do their rocks is is useful that's why I share a lot of my pores and you know save them on there for you guys it's just helpful to see there's different ways to do it so 
I enjoy everybody's tips. It's super helpful because I've gotten better just by, just by you guys. Just by you guys sharing your tips, I've learned a lot too. This one really looks cool. Took a while for it to look that way, but it looks neat. Okay, well, you guys have a lovely evening. It is, what time is it? It is almost midnight. It's time to go, time to finish up and then go to sleep. But I'm gonna sleep well. And hopefully you guys all have a lovely, lovely evening or day. Sending out positive vibes, everybody. Positive vibes. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. And the rest of the week and the weekend. So, hope to do some lives maybe this weekend if I get a chance. And you guys have a wonderful night. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.